Welcome to the Sexual Being Lab, a space where members of the DC Beings community explore all things related to sexual health. Today, in honor of Valentine's Day and National Condom Day, falling on the same Freaky Friday, we'll be talking about condoms. We'll go over the different types available, their pros and cons, and demonstrate how you might use them. Let's start with the type of condom most seen in pop culture, the external condom. You may also hear it called the male condom, but we wanna shut that shit down. We'll say it once in this video and only once. Genitals do not equal gender. Good? Good. We've got three main types of external condom here to show you today. First up, the good old latex condom. They're widely available in drugstores across the district and they stretch to accommodate a wide range of sizes. We recommend folks shop around to figure out which one feels and performs the best. Can you use any old lube with these condoms? No, only use water-based lubes as oil-based do not interact well with latex and may cause slippage or tearing. Allergic to latex? No worries. There are other options available for your pleasure. Here, we have a condom made of polyurethane, a rubber latex alternative. Both of these types are approved for pregnancy and STD prevention. Not about the rubber experience. <laughs> there are even more natural options available, including the lambskin condom made from the lamb's internal membrane. These condoms are biodegradable, which is definitely a win for the environment. Although they are more expensive, many folks still choose them as they're a better heat transmitter and add even greater sensation during sex. While lambskin is considered just as effective as latex at pregnancy prevention, it's important to note that they are not considered a tool for STI protection. They are not as stretchy as latex, which can lead to unexpected tearing if not sized properly. Now, we're going to do the demonstration that probably haunts your pubescent dreams how to use a condom. Be careful how you tear, as sexy as it may feel to rip one open with your teeth. There ain't nothing sexy about a Swiss cheese looking condom. Pinch the tip, like so, before rolling the condom down the shaft. The tip needs to remain open for a collection of bodily fluids, like semen. So it's important that you don't skip the pinch. Once you're done doing the D, make sure to grasp the base to avoid spillage. We're not gonna tell you how to dispose of it because frankly, that's none of our business. When this condom first came out, it was marketed as the female condom. However, as we stated earlier, gender is a social construct, so you should really call this an internal condom. The internal condom is a great latex-free option for vaginal and anal intercourse. It comes lubricated and is hormone-free. One of our favorite things about it you can insert right before a penetration, or if you're more of a planner, insert it several hours before. Think of it as speaking your intentions to have sex into the universe for manifestation. Another great thing about this option, because it covers a larger surface area than a traditional condom, the internal condom is actually even more successful at preventing skin-to-skin -skin STDs like herpes and HPV. So how exactly does one use a female condom? You're going to want to massage the casing first to evenly spread the lubricant that comes with it. Again, same warning about tearing carefully. Once it's open and out, you'll probably notice its anatomy differs a lot from the external condom. As you can see, there are two rings, the inner and outer. To place the condom, squeeze the inner ring like this so that it's thin and long, and then insert. If you're inserting into a vagina, push the inner ring all the way back behind the pubic bone over the cervix. Although it's intimidating to look at, the internal condom should not hurt once in. And if you're experiencing pain, please take it out and try again with the new condom. When you're starting to have sex, make sure to hold onto the outer ring to ensure it doesn't slip inside to start with. Do not stand up before you've twisted the outer ring once to seal in all the goodies. Again, dispose of it as you see fit. There you have it. Our best advice is try, try, try. There are so many different varieties of condoms out there. We have no doubt that there's a right fit for you. Follow us on social media at DC Beings.